The uh, all the checks look good. Are you guys ready? CD1, born ready. <laughs> Mike was only born ready. <laughs> okay, you can, you can, when the thermal catch is, um, cover is open, you can egress the airlock EV1. All right. Be attaching an anchor hook to the aft external D ring. Ready, you ready to rock and roll? Ready to rock and roll. Let's go, buddy. Time to get to work. We uh, started out installing the new Colt tools or the contingency operation LAPA tools uh, onto the uh, uh, backside of the pump module platform. Nice. Those went right into position. Uh, what a great team working together to get that designed. Uh, uh, those tools worked flawlessly. Yeah. Uh, well, pump okay. module hung up just a little bit yeah. on the okay. um, uh, external stowage platform before we got okay. it released. He gave it uh, one more uh, little try with the uh, PGT. Bolt didn't turn at all, so he gave it a little little yank, and uh, the whole thing came loose. Okay, and uh, okay, there you can see it easy. starting to move. Take it's about yeah, 1,500 pounds, so uh, it uh, takes quite a bit to move it. Okay, Ronnie, you ready to lift up the pump module? Let's do it. It's 1,400 pounds, buddy. Let's do this. Yeah, okay. Ready? Yep. Uh, here you see uh, Ron uh, controlling the whole thing on the uh, robot arm, and notice he's just very slowly turning the whole thing over. It started out in one orientation, kind of a heads-up orientation, and he needed to turn it 180 degrees around so that when he got down to the payload bay, he'd be uh, heads down in the payload bay and could install the pump module when he got down there. Now clear of external stowage platform number two, headed down to Atlantis's payload bay, where the pump module will be secured on a truss support structure at the very back of the bay for the trip back home and an engineering evaluation to determine what caused the pump to fail on the night of July 31st last year. There are three spare pump modules residing on various locations on the International Space Station for use in the future should another one go down. Nice looking spaceship you guys got here. Why, thank you. Mike Fossum is uh, preparing the uh, work site at the uh, Mission uh, Peculiar Support Structure, as it's called, the cargo truss, basically, at the back of the cargo bay of Atlantis. Uh, just above him is Ron Garin holding on to the uh, pump module and its support uh, attachment mechanism. Okay, Ron. The uh, pump module and its attachment mechanism uh, now aligned to a comparable uh, attachment mechanism on this truss at the rear of Atlantis's cargo bay. You guys are uh, good with the GCA. We can end GCA and go break down. GCA is complete. Okay. Brakes are on. You guys are clear for APFR okay. egress and ingress. Mike Fossum has this robotic refueling mission, the RRM, in his hands. He's on the end of the station's arm and moving out of Atlantis's payload bay. Close and Canada, the OPSS. You bet. Cheerful red light on the top. Here you see the robotics refueling mission uh, just about to be installed and handed off to the Dexter arm over on the lab nader. Um, I know that everybody at Goddard was holding their breath here, making sure that uh, we were all sending them good wishes and we were able to get it installed onto the Dexter just fine. Then it was off to install the um, MISI or the Materials ISS experiment, uh, the small portion of that called the Ormate. Um, took some photos of that, that's material samples that are exposed to the uh, ram and wake of space. From there, we went on to work on the uh, grapple fixture that had the little wire uh, sticking out through one of the latch doors. You can see it getting cleared there and then uh, pulled out of the way. Um, that went just like the training. It could not, it was just like watching training on video to see uh, how well this went, uh, just like we had planned. It doesn't always go that well, but today it sure did, and we were glad to see it. Uh, our final task on the EVA was installing the uh, thermal cover that Chris was talking about. Here you see it coming out of the bag. You think of it as a great big comforter coming out of the uh, ORU bag or the uh, on-orbit replacement ORU bag. Um, 
Here you can see it in its final configuration, strapped down. It's got uh, nine Velcro straps that hold it into position. And uh, about the time that uh, they had it installed in this configuration, the uh, thermal officer in the front room uh, in the Mission Control Center stood up and turned around and said, I can already see it starting to take effect. Uh, he could already see it in his data just that fast. So that's a very successful project. Well, I'd like to thank the, uh, uh, there were a lot of teams whose hard work all came into play for this EVA. Uh, led to Brown, led a uh, you know magnificent team of people that put together a lot of stuff, and they had to do it in the hard way with uh, Ron and I, uh, with Ron and me traveling a lot. And uh, not even in country at the same time together a lot. They had to work really hard and had a really, really well integrated plan put together with all of the products and the pieces that really came together. And it, from uh, from Goddard, the Colt team, the pump module team to figure out how to get that thing back. Uh, a whole lot of work by a lot of a lot of teams around the country really, uh, really all. I came together and today, and that's what made the difference. Patch is closed.